Welcome, I'll be reacting to Outlander, Season 6, Episode 6. After having a week to think about it, I'm pretty sure I know who the time traveler is. He's the one who left Claire at the end of Season 5 to those men. That's why I did not immediately think of him. Because I've pretty much blacked that episode out, I don't really want to think about it. And he did not make a good impression. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original on stars. I try to avoid titles, but I couldn't help seeing this one. The world turned upside down. The world turned upside down. Down, down, down. Freedom for America, freedom for France. Down, down, down. You're going to get a lot more Hamilton references as we get closer to the revolution. Sorry. Look around at your brethren here today. None are all knowing. I love it when Roger preaches. I only noticed one person falling asleep. Old Maggie McCurley. <laughs> She's 80. Although I do miss Marsley. I miss them all. We all miss Marsley. Are the kids still here? <gasps> oh no. It could be food poisoning or something worse. Don't touch your faces. Yeah, we, have yeah. we all know that. Oh. Don't touch your face, Lizzie. Oh no. You need to quarantine everyone. This slot needs to not go back to the ridge. Not for a few weeks, anyway. Uh, Jamie, Jamie, back away. But usually it's a contaminated water source. Yeah. Uh, mistress, Mr. Ogilvy's here. He says his wife's fallen sick with the flux. You must come quickly. We'll do what we can, but remember, there is no cure. Oh, no. So many graves. That kirkyard should not have been filled up this quickly. Even more? Let me take you home. I'm all right. And don't get so close I to her. Oh no, she's caught it. I figured it was a matter of time going near all those patients like that. They need to find whatever water source is causing this. Here's some willow bark tea for you. My jealous. <laughs> Good old willow bark. I still have some of that at home for tea. I saw King Snake the other day. Hmm. They're so cute though. I love King Snakes. But Mr. Crombie was. He brought one in a box to a Sunday meeting once to make mischief. When he opened it, the snake came out like a jack in the box and bit him on the lip. <laughs> Did it then? <laughs> Should not laugh for that. I don't have a call hearing about Sorry. that. Well, Mr. Crombie was furious. I imagine no one wanted to spread the story in fear he'd maybe pop with rage. I see. You seem a fine gentleman to me. There was a snake there. I feel like she could learn from her dreams. She has the abilities. Hmm. She seems better. Less restless. <sighs> Oh, so nice. Oh, yeah. They thought it's what you do for someone with a terrible fever. It will grow back. He saw it. What did he say? He didn't say anything. He just cried. You know, it is really interesting how when you get sick, it's like it gets to the worst of it. And you just have these terrible nights. And then it's like, something just switches and you're on the mend. I was nowhere near as badly ill as Claire was, but I was ill last week and that's what happened to me. There was a night where it was like, all you can do is survive the next five minutes kind of a thing and something lifted. It's so weird. And I feel like that's what just happened here and she'll be all right. But oh, it's not fun before you get to that point. It's like, you have to get through the absolute worst of it. Just keep pushing and pushing and, and then suddenly it's gone. You were among the last to succumb to it. Malva? Was it Malva? 
You scared me. You scared all of us. Don't do it again. Right? <laughs> Love you. Let's get that hair of yours sorted out. You look ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I think she looks kind of cute. And it will grow back, won't it? So it yes, will. Yes, it will. Mm. <laughs> I found a dead elk in the river. Oh. And there's Tom Christie. He's still bad, last what? I heard. Fever, headaches. Except Malva might be helping Tom along, making sure he stays ill. It would be easy to slip things into his tea or his water. Blue herons and Master Raymond, he said. Blue is the color of healing. I miss Master Raymond. I saw storm clouds and a snake. I feel like that is significant. Malva's not going after Jamie, is she? He's like three times her age. That's gross. Oh, so cute. I love Adzo. it. Adzo, you keep the bed warm Adzo, for me. please. Don't tell anyone where I've gone. She seems all right. You were also very ill, I believe. Yes, I was. But I didn't have what afflicted the others on the ridge. No, it's, uh, it was, as you say, a headache fit to split the skull. But I haven't seen you in a while, so how is it that you and I ended up with the same thing? Malva. A sample of yours. To look at under the microscope, well then, <laughs> I'd know without a doubt whether... What kind of sample? Oh dear. <laughs> you came well, all would, this way for yeah. that? Some fecal matter. He's like, I'm sorry, what? It's for medical purposes. Come outside. This is a tag lock. And if he knows anything, he knows that. And her asking for it is extraordinarily dangerous. If she is what he thinks... I don't think he thinks she's a witch, but she just asked for a tag lock and a very powerful one at that. Like, that's what you use in witch bottles. So I really don't blame him for this reaction. In his position, I probably would have said the same thing. We know because we're from contemporary times that, yeah, it's medical. Not here. It's the fact that she was asking him, though, that should have showed something. She didn't just look around for pieces of his hair or something like that. Claire, you did not think this through. Then again, she has been very ill. She should have talked to someone other than Adso, though, about it. Put on your hat before we go. He's being remarkably gallant in this situation. I think it's more because he wants to make sure she's out of the area. You're not allowed to kill yourself, do I make myself clear? <sighs> Oh, I see where Brianna gets it from. I had to go and see if Tom needed my help. And we went to collect the rents and you slept on the floor outside my door. Aye. Oh, yeah. You stepped on me, Sasnach. Nearly broke my ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just read that part in the book, by the way. I started book one a couple weeks ago, I think. And they just got married. I'll do a video with my thoughts on it after I finish book one. And that was the last oh, what a beautiful shot. Dark shadow had finally uh, looks like a QR code. <laughs> I know it's just a fancy letter, but doesn't it look like a QR code? Sorry. <laughs> Scan this with your phone, everyone. <laughs> the historian in you won't be able to get over being at such a significant event. I can't see, I'm not so. a little excited. Roger is going to fangirl so much. And here is the ridge about to split. My daughter finds herself with child. She's going to say it was Jamie. Oh, sir. How can you say that to me when you know the truth as well as I do? It was him. Claire 
isn't honestly believing any of this. But the man in question had her a dozen times or more. And she has lied a dozen what? times or more. You're this looks really bad. I mean, we all know it wasn't Jamie, but. I, do it. I mean, he believes his sister, which technically really is something he should be doing. Because I believe that you love me in the same way. He does. There's no good way to tell your wife you're playing with someone else. Out of the circumstances. I'm sorry, what? You were gone. Only once. Oh, that. Okay. She's gone. Right. I remember her. She was a good character. I liked her. It's not too late, Malva. You can still tell the truth. <laughs> she almost got through there, but it didn't work. It was only once. She is so beautiful. And she talked to me. She wasn't as shy like the other lasses. But she's carrying my child. None of these men have come forward. Obadiah hasn't. Ian clearly hasn't. Why is no one standing up for Jamie? It's tricky because you want to always believe someone when they say that. Like, I would want to believe Malva. Absolutely. It's just we know, as viewers, more information than the characters on the show. And there's more data out there. It's not being revealed to everyone. But how has it been for you? Not good. Don't worry. I'm here. That's terrifying. Now is not the time. You'll be vulnerable. Wake up. How did she get in? I'll have his child. Everything that's yours will be mine. <gasps> you come near me. My husband again. And I will fucking kill you. I think that was a hallucination. But I'm not sure. Oh my. <gasps> I feel like she did it to herself though. Oh, this is not gonna go look good, even though she's trying to save the baby. If anyone sees this. I don't think it was Claire. She was completely unconscious. However, her mental state has also not been the best lately. And this was the best way to take Claire down with her as well. Making sure she did it right in front of their house. How are they going to explain it? And they've built a home here. I mean, I guess they could just pick things up and just leave. Go start somewhere else all over again. But they'd have to change names, I mean, because there is no way this kind of scandal will not just follow them. I mean, I guess they could go back to Scotland or somewhere else in the colonies. They worked so hard here, though. Built that from nothing. And all because of one very upset, troubled teenage girl. They lost all of it. It just shows you how fragile life is. You can feel like you really built something and then just instantly it can completely crumble in minutes from something outside of your control. Out of six seasons, that was the most shocking moment on Outlander and there have been some shocking ones. I would rank that as number one of just, wow. And this is completely not where I thought the story was going to go. There was a good thing about this episode, and that is Roger is such a good guy. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, all of you know, I've been a fan of Roger from day one, but he was just so wonderful. He always said the right thing in this episode. His homily was great. Just being supportive of Brianna and what she was going through. And interestingly, I feel like he won't be blamed for any of this, like on the ridge. I don't think anyone has anything against Roger and Brianna right now. 
Like it's all focused over here with Jamie and Claire. Oh wow, that, that scene was just, I assume that was in the books. I can only imagine reading along and getting to that, turning the page and reading that and just being like, what? I will say so far from what I've read, there is so much more detail and texture in the original story. I can only imagine how this scene was described. I mean, what the scent on the air, the grasses as they lay under her, like, oh my. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen next. I don't have any theories. Like, other than packing a suitcase and just getting on a horse and leaving, I don't know what they're gonna do.